Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise right now. If you're just tuning in, thank you for coming in this morning. Go ahead, like, love, and share, create your watch parties. We just come to give you praise right now. Can we do that? We come to give you praise, and we're here to magnify your name. Let's lift them up one time. Come thou almighty. Come thou almighty king. Help us thy name. Help us thy name to sing. Come thou thou almighty king. Help us thy name. Help us thy name to sing. We come to pray. 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 We come to pray.
don't know about you. I don't know about you. But I came to give God all the praise. Said he kept me on a Monday. A Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. And shown up on Sunday morning. I came to give them up. I came to lift them up. I came to lift them up. I came to give them all the praise. Somebody show yeah. Somebody shout, yeah. If God has been good to you, you want to go ahead and shout right now. Shout right now. Shout right now. Shout right now. Give it to him right now. Everything that he deserves. Everything. 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 Everything to God in prayer. I give them up. We lift them up. We praise your name. We praise your name. Give it to them right now. I'm sorry, Pastor, but if my father was here, he would say, It's just like fire. Shut up in my bones. Because this joy that I have, I can surely say that the world didn't give it to me. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. And the world can't take it away. That's why I can stand right here and say, God, you've been good. God, you're so good. God, you've been good. I dare you to shout, yeah. Shout, yeah. Ah, 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 ah. I know he's all right. This is the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Somebody out there this morning has at least one reason that you ought to praise them this morning. You ought to give them glory. Don't complain today, but just praise. Don't, don't look down, but look up this morning and see how good God is. Is there anybody that say, I know he's a good God. I know he's a good God. And what I've discovered is that every now and then, when you begin to complain, God reminds you how good he is. Brother Mike, I was driving down the street and bothered and upset that my car was acting up. And as soon as I began to complain, I looked to the left and I saw somebody walking with a whole bunch of bags because they didn't have a car. And I said, God, I thank you. you. You've been so good to me. And I got a pause just to lift up your name and tell you, thank you, sir. Is there a thank you, sir? In the, is there a thank you, sir? Is there a thank you, sir? You brought me. I got to stop, y'all. You brought me. You brought me a mighty long way. Shout yeah, Brandy, why you got me started? Shout yeah! Oh, this is the day. I got to stop. This is, this, 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 this. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day. I'm complaining about the prices of groceries and I see somebody with a sign that say, can I get some food? This is the day uh, that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I'm, I'm complaining about a headache and can't breathe good, but some got tubes in their body. You ought to thank the Lord. I gotta stop. 
God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God that we serve. Angels bound before him and heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. We're not supposed to be acting like this the Sunday before Christmas. We're supposed to be all dignified. We're supposed to have candles. We're supposed to be real dressed up and just saying glory to his name and Emmanuel but then all of a sudden when I think about the goodness of and all he's done for me my soul my soul cries out I gotta stop I, I don't really don't feel that good I gotta stop I, I don't feel good I gotta I gotta save just a little bit we thank you we thank you, we thank you, we thank you for joining us on Peace TV the Sunday before we celebrate. God just excuse us for a minute. We're not trying to bother you long, but God has just been good to some people in here. I, I wish you could feel it the way we felt it. I, I hope the Holy Spirit has left this sanctuary and went into your home. Just pause just a minute and just think about how good how wonderful, how exceptional, how gracious, how loving the Lord has been to you. This is not anywhere part of the worship. We got to go, but it, it, it'll help me feel better right if we, if we just begin to say thank you, Lord. And I'm sorry. I know that's old school, but I think that if he's been good, you ought to tell him thank you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. me and you are but somebody at home didn't get it thank oh, you lord thank you
son to die on an old rugged cross for us. We thank you Jesus that you found it not robbery to lead heaven's palace 
sinless and leave the throne to come down and walk these this earth God we thank you Jesus for opening blinded eyes opening deaf ears making the lame walk we thank you that you didn't stay in the manger but you grew up to die on an old rugged cross we pause this Christmas this Sunday before Christmas to say thank you matter of fact we didn't say it enough in 2021 we are in arrears in our thanks so God we pause just to say thank you not for the gifts that are under the tree God not for the food that we'll have on the 25th but we thank you that you are a sustainer we thank you that you're always with us God we give you glory we give you honor we give you praise we make way for your Holy Spirit this morning God we thank you for interrupting programs and God we thank you for taking control of your worship experience God we pray that you would have it and dwell in the midst of this worship and in the midst of this praise and God you be well pleased in what you see and what you hear in your son Jesus name we pray amen 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 and amen 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 listen listen I, right about now I would tell you to make sure you've shared or tagged amen at least five people but if you have not shared or tagged yet, then somebody's already missed the move of God. But I believe, I, I believe that God is not through moving in this worship experience. I believe that there's still best, more to come. The best is yet to come. So tag five people. Let them know Peace TV's on the air. Let them know that there's worship going on. Let them know that we're lifting up the mighty name of Jesus. You know five people that need this word. You know five people that need this worship. Tag them now. Tag them now. Share, share, and share, and share. I need every member. If you're watching on Facebook this morning, I need every member to share this worship. Amen. Every leader, I need you to share this worship. I y'all forgive me pray for me because i get upset when i see people sharing everything but not sharing worship i y'all pray for me gentle pray for me i get upset when my members share everything on facebook but never share the worship and the word of god share that somebody can be blessed in this global ministry listen we're heading up we're almost at christmas this is a few days away and we're grateful that we'll be able to just celebrate, lift up the name of Jesus. Listen, there are announcements. I won't get to them. I won't say them. Just stay connected. Make sure you're following us. We're getting ready for our New Year's Eve worship and some great things in the month of January 2022 is going to be awesome. Amen. I'm excited. You probably have already begun. Hopefully, I think they should see it now, Charmaine. You should be able to see um, uh, our first E.L. Sullivan Leadership School for 2022, where we'll have our directress and our assistant directress, amen, amen, teaching the class on worship. And so we're excited about that. They're kicking it off. It's going to be great. Amen. I don't know if we put out the night of worship yet. Amen. But we'll get that out as well in the month of January. There's just going to be a night of worship. I don't know, 30, 40, five minutes, an hour. I don't know. Amen. I guess it depends whether I make the song list or Rashad and Dondra. I don't know. Uh, that'll determine how many songs. Amen. It might be 15, might be five, but it's going to be worship. And so we want you to stay there. want you to be a part of it. want you to make sure you stay connected, stay connected, stay connected. Listen, I got to early get out of the way man this praise team is ready to get back up here and, and the Lord's uh, spirit is uh, ready to move once again but again as always just be safe um, just be safe just be safe be safe people are trying to do wrong be safe be safe be safe be safe amen and be safe watch around you amen when you're out shopping and even getting gas just be careful be safe we love you we're grateful amen for a great book club uh review uh for the peace readers book club we were blessed by that and heard some great things about it more to come more to come more to come it's giving time this this third sunday it's giving time in the house of the lord we pray amen usually two or three of y'all will clap amen it's giving time amen god bless you thank you we're grateful for two or three cheerful givers in the house we pray that there's some out there as well 
Amen. It's giving time. It's third Sunday. This is our super benevolent Sunday. We, we just didn't give hams and turkeys in November, but also uh, in December and food bags. And uh, we're trying to get ready. We've made some new appointments with our youth. Amen, team. And we're trying to get ready to bless our youth in the month of January as well as they go back to school and get ready for testing. Want to make sure they have everything they need. Amen. Prayerfully, you've caught where I've told you the great stuff that we're doing here, the stats, all of our partners, all of our grants. Amen. We, we, we are in 15 elementary schools mentoring, providing food for them to go take home and food. Amen. On Saturdays, we have five or six churches we're working with, partnering with uh, different grants. And so we're grateful for that, but we're also grateful for your benevolence. Amen. And because you've been giving, we've been able to do so much. We've been able to bless so many. So please keep on giving. Give your tithe, your offering, your sacrificial offering. Amen. And then if you give one towards benevolent, give two. If you give two, give four. If you give five, give ten. Just be a blessing in our benevolent offering this morning. Our team should have on the screen where you can text to give or give the five. You can drop it in the box safely and securely. Call some of you all dropping it when I was here one day. Thank you so much. Amen. Or you can mail it in. Amen. But we pray. You know what I'm about to say. If you worship here, Amen. If you get the word here, you ought to sow a seed here. You ought to give your tithe and your offering here. So we pray that you're giving. We pray that you're giving. We pray that you're giving. I don't know if it's hot in here because of the heat or the Holy Spirit. Amen or both. Amen. Amen. The Lord is moving and we've been moving as the Lord has been moving. Amen. But we're grateful. Amen. Grateful for you. God, we say thank you for every tither, every giver, every seed sower. We're grateful for those that gave sacrificially, gave above and beyond. God, we ask that you bless them in their obedience to give unto your house. God, allow what they have to go further than what they thought it could. God, bless them, God, for being obedient. God, bless them that they shall not go lacking in their giving. God, bless this offering. Multiply it. Use it now for the upbuilding of your kingdom. In your son Jesus' name, we decree and declare amen, amen, amen. Thank you for your giving. We're in the third installment of this series, Rediscovering Christmas, really just doing Advent season, and we've been doing expository and topical sermons, and uh, we won't be before you long today, amen, but I pray that you'll let someone know to catch this third installment after this sermonic selection, amen, the Word of God is coming with our third installment of Rediscovering Christmas, Rediscovering Christmas, we we found hope, we found peace, and I found another gem that I want to share with you today. Let someone know the word of God shall come forth after this shamanic selection. God bless you.
and I always I didn't do right. I went left, you told me to go right, but I'm standing right here in the midst of my tears. I'm claiming you to be. Cry. 
For he alone is worthy. For he alone is worthy. Christ the Lord will give you all the glory. The Lord. Lord, we're pausing here to observe and remember the Lamb of God. We thank you for that Lamb. God, we understand that you set it up for that Lamb to be slaughtered for the remission of our sins. God, if we're honest, we know ourselves, and so we ask the question, why you love us so, God, we shall never know. Because we've messed up, we're full of sin, we're full of anger, we're full of stuff, but we're grateful. On this Sunday before we celebrate the birth of your son, Jesus, for that lamb that was born of a virgin Mary, that lamb that was wrapped, wrapped in swaddling clothes, that lamb that laid there, that lamb that no one had room for. We're grateful for that lamb this morning. God, another preaching moment has come upon us. As always, God, I'm not knowledgeable enough for this assignment. I'm too frail for this responsibility. God, if I'm being honest, I can't do this without you. I need you to show up. I need you to touch my mouth, touch my tongue, that I shall do no harm to thy text. God, give me strength. Touch my body. Touch my throat, touch my voice, God. Touch my mind and my memory. God, that I can proclaim publicly what you've allowed me to prepare for privately. God, I need you in a special way, God, this morning for this word. God, if I'm being honest, when I got here, I didn't feel like being here. God, when I came into the sanctuary, I didn't feel my best, God. But then your spirit snuck up on us and reminded us, reminded me that there's still reason to praise there's still reason to worship god that you'll fill us with strength god you'll fill us with your anointing so god we thank you bless now this preaching moment open deaf ears to your words soften any hardened hearts that your word shall be received in the life of these your people in your son jesus name we pray amen 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 and amen again thank you for joining us on peace tv thank you for being a part of this worship experience and as always again we pray that you've shared again we're in this third installment i know you're ready to go we don't we don't usually stay long amen on the sunday uh before christmas but we'll hurriedly get out of your way we'll get out of your way uh we'll be very quickly this morning just want to teach dealing with the advent season we've talked about hope we've talked about peace i want to continue on with that amen and give I guess a expository and topical sermon this morning. Uh, we'll do both. If you would turn with us, we've been in Luke. We'll stay in Luke, Luke chapter number two. Luke chapter number two, beginning at verse nine. Uh, we'll conclude around verse 11. This morning we'll be reading from the NIV version, the New International Version. Luke chapter number two, Luke chapter number two, Luke chapter number two, beginning at verse number nine. Luke chapter number 2, beginning in verse 9, concluding in verse number 11. Again, this third installment of this series dealing in the Advent season. Amen. Dealing with rediscovering Christmas. Rediscovering Christmas. Luke chapter 9, beginning in verse number 2. Beginning in verse number 9. Luke chapter 2, beginning in verse number 9. Luke 2, 9 through 11. And it says, an angel of the Lord appeared to them. And the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to him, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. For today in the town of David, 
a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah and the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of the Almighty God this morning. Just for a few minutes of your time, as I hurriedly get out of your way, I want to use for a subject or a thought this morning, the breakthrough of brokenness by the way of joy. The breakthrough of brokenness by the way of joy. The breakthrough of brokenness by the way of joy. We've looked at hope, we've looked at peace, and this morning we want to look simply at that three-letter word called joy. My brothers and my sisters, research reveals that $25 billion was spent last year on psychopharmacy. In other words, $25 billion was spent on trying to make people feel good and to be happy. In essence, this is about $85 per U.S. citizen a year. People are not just wanting to have their problems solved and survive on medication, but many are at the point where they don't want to survive, but they want to thrive. And my brothers and my sisters, I believe too long that we've just been surviving, but God wants us to thrive. Such uh, studies, a uh, World Happiness Report, uh, in that magazine is talking about sociologists and politicians and civil leaders and people in general that are trying to find ways to mitigate stress and maximize joy and happiness. It's interesting when you study over in the Scandinavian Scandinavian country is an interesting thing that one scientist once said the system doesn't make them happy but keeps people from doing what will make them unhappy in other words what he's really saying is that some people are doing stuff that makes them unhappy you aren't moved by that scientist but C.S. Lewis that great theologian that great writer and theologian says that joy is the serious business of heaven that joy is serious business it's serious because it's permanent but sometimes joy does not come easy circumstances uh, erect barriers to joy and sometimes people make it hard to feel joy then again sometimes we ourselves put barriers to joy joy does not come easily or readily sometimes it seems like joy is running from us it seems like the more we look for joy, the more we find sorrow. The more we look for happiness, the more we find being down in the dumps. The question is, as we enter this time that's close to Christmas, is where do we find our joy? Where would uh, our joy be hiding? And can I go ahead and help you, Dondra? I, 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 I don't know if you remember the song, but probably, Dondra, when you were teaching the little sunshine choir, you all would taste him to say, I've got that joy, joy, joy down in my heart, down in my heart. Anybody remember that? It was a simple children's song that had a whole lot of powerful purpose and meaning. And what I'm trying to tell you, you can't find the joy in Target. You can't find joy in Walmart. You can't find joy even in your spouse or your money. The joy that you need can't be found on Amazon. But the children would say that you got to find that joy 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 down in your heart and I came by to let somebody know this morning you ain't gotta look for joy all you gotta do is look down in your heart and find the joy of the Lord if we're honest the sobering fact this morning is that as we celebrate Christmas we find that Christmas is sometimes not a joy maker but a joy killer we find that sometimes that we go out shopping and enduring crowds and being knocked down and rude people and not finding what we want. Come home five hours later, down depressed, got the humbug spirit because what we've done is allowed the world to dictate 
appreciate what really makes us joyous in the Christmas season. I wish y'all would just take the brakes off of me out there on Facebook because we've made it. We've allowed the world to tell us the only way we can get joy during Christmas is if we got some gifts under the tree. If we got these wonderful, elaborate decorations and lights. But can I tell you that even though it's good to have lights on the Christmas tree, the reason we got joy is because the light of the world came in a manger. And I came to let somebody know this morning I know your loved one is not here I know you're down I know you're in the dumps I know it's hard I know you couldn't buy your children everything you wanted but I came by to tell you you can still have joy you may not have money but you can still have joy I heard you brother Brandon I don't know why you got me hyped up like that because I'm like Brandon you gotta understand I'm like Brandon and the old church the old church said this joy that I have I heard your brother the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away and I believe Christians today especially after these last 18 months of dealing with COVID inflation racial injustice I believe that there's many sitting at home this morning that say I can't find a reason to have joy but I stopped by to let you know this Christmas even if your loved one is not at the table even if you don't get the gifts in time even if your children don't have every toy you still can have joy I wish somebody out there will understand this morning that when I woke up this morning I had joy because God put breath in my lungs activity in my limbs health in my body I had joy and I just told you that when I got here I didn't really feel it too much on the inside but then when the spirit began to move down 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 in my heart that even though I was somber joy creeped up out of nowhere is that anybody's testimony out there even when you thought you ought to be down joy shows up such is the case in our text this morning that we see in verse number 9 through 11 chapter number 2 of Luke that the angels come to the shepherds and say I bring you some good news I I bring some great news I I bring some news that will cause great joy for all people I got to stop there, Trina. This is not in the notes, but the Spirit just dropped it to me. Here's what the good news is. He says that will cause, the angel says that will cause great joy. But see, look at the word next to it after that. Don't miss it. Great joy for all people. See, see, that's where we get mixed up. We believe that only rich people can be happy, that only rich people can get joy, that only powerful people can have joy. But God said, I sent great news. I sent my son down. I sent him down in order that all people would have great joy. That's enough right there for 13 of you all to shout. You don't have money, but you still can have great joy. You haven't got that degree yet, but you still can have great joy you've been divorced two three times but you still can have joy you're lonely in your house but you still can have joy you may be in public housing but you still can have joy you may be catching the bus but you still can have joy because you got to understand that joy is for all of God's people there's a couple things that I see and I gotta hurry to get out of your way first thing I see you must have a proper interpretation of joy in order to have great joy come closer we're teaching today you got to write it down we're teaching I'm sorry it's a little long but I got to get this to you hope we can celebrate we've already celebrated but hopefully we can celebrate again you must have a proper interpretation of joy in order to have great joy what is joy the Greek word in Luke chapter number 2 verse number 10 joy chara it means joy it means cheer it means gladness it means a celebration it's a very important word that's used 59 times in the New Testament see joy is a curious thing joy is a strange thing it has no life of its own joy is not something that can be manufactured at will in other words you can't make joy when you want joy joy is something that 
flows out of other things. Joy is the natural byproduct of certain sorts of events and experiences in our life. You got to understand that joy is this strange thing. Can I help 19 people out there as I get out of your way? Don't miss this. Don't miss this. There's a difference between happiness and joy. It, 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 come closer. <clears throat> There's a difference between happiness and joy. <clears throat> happiness we can try to achieve. Joy we can only receive. Let me come back. This and got good to me. Let me clear my throat. <clears throat> and as they would say and come back to you, here's what you got to understand. That joy, 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 joy. joy. Happiness can we achieve. We can try to achieve. But joy we can only receive. And the question is, do you have joy this morning joy is an expression of God's free grace joy is something that you can celebrate because you couldn't get it God had to give it is that anybody shout out there that, that, that you understand that you couldn't get God's joy God had to give it to you see you gotta understand happiness is fleeting and temporary joy is deeper and more fulfilling you missed it. Okay, let me try it again. See, 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 you can be happy one day and sad the next day, but when you have joy, it's deeper than happiness. It's deeper than happy. It's more fulfilling in happiness. And don't miss this. The joy is a result of the presence of the Holy Spirit among humans. You need Bible. I got Bible. The Holy Spirit generates joy as a witness of his presence in our life. Go to Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. It says that it says that joy is the second part of the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, and peace. Romans 14 and 17 says that the kingdom of God is a matter of joy in the Holy Spirit together with righteousness and peace. Being filled with joy is a sign of being filled with the Holy Spirit it wouldn't be fair it wouldn't be fair Lisa it wouldn't be fair Charmaine it wouldn't be fair if I didn't get in trouble on the Sunday before Christmas <laughs> some people I got to do it I got to do it I, I, I got to I ain't gonna sleep tonight if I don't do it see some people don't have joy and are all the way sad and in sorrow they don't have joy because they ain't got the Holy Spirit let me come closer. Let me. I didn't make nine people bad. I just lost some people. See, you can't have joy in the inside if you don't have the Holy Spirit in the inside. And see, some people are trying to have joy without the Spirit. That's why you don't have joy. You may have a temporary moment of happiness that will flee on the next day. But when you have joy, you got the Holy Spirit. And what I love about it, Ra, is the Holy Spirit don't leave based upon the economy. The Holy Spirit don't leave based upon who likes you and who doesn't like you the Holy Spirit stays on the inside and that means we always have joy see, see, see the angel said I bring you good news of great joy the the good news is the work of God and Mary was con don't don't miss it Mary conceived by how I wish I had a church I could talk back, but if you can't talk back, type it in. Mary conceived by way of the Holy Spirit. See, 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 the Holy Spirit had to show up, and the Holy Spirit is, is presence. And when we have the Holy Spirit, we have joy. Happiness comes and goes with positive events and experiences. Joy flows, even joy flows, even in the face of challenges. Joy can still be there during hardship. Joy can still be there during suffering. Joy drawn from Jesus can still be there no matter what. You need more Bible. Let me give you a Bible. James chapter 1 verse 2 through 4 says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and my sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance and let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete and lacking nothing. Can I go ahead and rewind that and bring it back to you in my terms? In other words, what James is saying that when you got challenges you ought to count it on joy when you got heartache you ought to count it on joy because the trial the 
tribulation and the heartache is a trying and a testing of your faith and if you let it work as it needs to work you'll be stronger in the end you'll be more mature in the end you'll be more complete in the end you'll be able to smile and have joy when everybody else is sorrowful and has tears don't miss it I gotta hurry I'm, I'm out of time you must have a proper interpretation of joy in order to have great joy, you got to know what joy is. Joy is unhappiness. But secondly, great joy comes from the salvation offered by Jesus Christ. Great joy comes from the salvation offered by Jesus Christ. See, Jesus brings the joy of salvation. Now, Jesus brings joy in so many areas of our life, but the joy that is especially associated with the birth of Jesus Christ is the joy of salvation. And you got to understand that's why you can shout even if you don't have anything during Christmas because the gift that you really needed you already got over 2,000 years ago on Calvary's cross you got to understand that, that, that we already saw last week that Jesus his name means salvation and that, 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 that the joy that I have is the joy of salvation I feel shouting right there Dondra, because it lets me know the reason I can have joy is because it's something that is in side of me that has saved me from me anybody glad that Jesus the salvation that he brought saved you not only from sin death and devil and the world but Jesus salvation saved you from yourself I wish I had a witness out there that you really understand that you got joy because the salvation of Jesus saved you even from yourself yeah I can't get a witness but I believe if I call Leanne Andrea Brandon that she would say that I was messing up myself I was doing things that were messing with me I need an exodus I need God to deliver me that you've been messing up yourself but the good news is you can have the joy of salvation you need more Bible for example we read David's prayer uh, to the Lord in Psalm 51 and 12 y'all remember it you should have prayed it restore to me the joy of your salvation David wrote the psalm after committing adultery with Bathsheba David had sinned greatly against God but he still understood the connection between salvation and joy and so he repented of his sin he asked God for forgiveness and asked God to restore back to him the joy of salvation so even before Jesus was born Ra, even before Jesus came Josh David understood that in order to have joy he had to have salvation in order to have salvation he had to repent for his sins and I just told you the reason some people always look mad sad and always got something negative to say is because they ain't got the Holy Spirit and if you ain't got the Holy Spirit you don't have the joy of salvation I gotta go I gotta go there's there's no true joy without salvation it can't happen you can't have true joy without salvation they go together they especially go together in the scriptures that we've been looking about doing Christmas that joy came from the salvation of Jesus Christ great joy I gotta hurry I gotta hurry great joy comes from the salvation offered by Jesus Christ and then you must have the proper interpretation of joy in order to have great joy but then thirdly as I hurriedly get out of your way great joy can occur during the time of great pain this this one got me I, I had to go back and look at it be I had to study for a minute you got to understand that this was a bad time for God's people that God has not spoken to them 
by way of him speaking or a prophet for many years that now under Roman oppression that now are, are, are being taxed in a heavy in a heavy manner they're experiencing great pain and even if you go back to Luke chapter number one with Zechariah and Elizabeth they're in great pain because she can't have a child but the good news is that great joy can occur doing great pain that in the midst of your great situation and your greatest pain that God showed up with some good news and some great joy is that anybody's testimony out there in the midst of great pain you still had great joy because God showed up and brought the joy that you needed in your life see joy understands that there is more than meets the eye that God is at work always and even in tough times of our life, God is at work and eventually God will make everything all right. And you got to understand that I could have saved a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of money. That, that $25 billion was wasted because, and I agree with counselors and psychiatrists, I agree that some may need medicine. And I agree about motivational speakers and life coaches. But can I tell you... I feel the preaching coming on in a minute, Josh, that, that the greatest life coach is not Ayanna Van Zant. It ain't the girl from House Party uh, that now got her own show. It's not Dr. Field. It's not Oprah Winfrey. It's not anybody in Columbus. You don't have to pay a $99 to get a life coach. My life coach is Jesus the Christ. And he, I ain't got to buy a book. I don't have to spend $25.99 on the New York bestseller the book i already got the manuscripts to life it's the b-i-b-l-e and the reason you can't get joy is because you're looking in some wrong places i gotta go i gotta go you gotta understand uh, again i'm not making light of when we're going through because i know that pain is real for all of us, but can I encourage you to take a look from another uh, angle, from another perspective? Can I encourage you to ask God to give you another point of view and to show you the bigger picture? Because I've discovered you may not experience a miracle as clear as Elizabeth's miracle, but I believe if you look closely, you'll find some miracles in your life. And that ought to be at least 31 people out there that can say when I look from a proper and different perspective and angle I then see the fact that great joy can come in the midst of great pain I, I then see the fact that there's been a miracle in my life <clears throat> I gotta go I'm over time if, it, it, can, I, can I do one more Josh can I, got, I got one more can I, can I do one more yeah. it, it, it's, it's there Great joy can occur during the time of great pain and great joy comes from the salvation offered by Christ and you must have a proper imp interpretation in order to have great joy. Fourthly and lastly, I hope you're taking notes, I'm done. Great joy brings great proclamation and great praise. It's right there in text. You got to look at it, see? You got let's look at praise God first. And when you look at it, Luke chapter 2, verse number 10, as the shepherds and the shepherds, they began to praising God to express their joy. Uh, just as the shepherds, uh, they, they couldn't help it. Uh, they were full of joy and had to tell people that night that Jesus the Christ was born. And see, I've discovered that joy, true joy, leads to true proclamation. See, 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 some people can't evangelize because they don't have joy. See, evangelism is easy because there's nothing about but the proclamation of the good news of Jesus Christ and when you have joy in your heart the joy of the salvation that comes from Jesus Christ you're able to proclaim to somebody that he is a good God is that anybody's testimony but not only did they proclaim but they began to praise and that's how I know, Charmin, that some people don't have the Holy Spirit. And that's why they don't have joy. Because they sit there on Sunday morning and not praise the Almighty God. But when you got the joy of salvation... 
down in your heart. I heard you be, he says, it's just like fire that shed up in my bones. And I gotta leave you here now, but I came by to tell you, I don't know what's gonna be under your tree. But I came to tell you, the greatest gift of salvation came, hung, bled, and died on an old tree. But the good news is that early on a third day morning, that good news got out the grave and declared to the world, I got all power in my hands. See you later. Have a good day. Have a merry, merry Christmas. I hear the songwriter by the name of Isaac Watts. He writes the hymn in 1719 that says joy to the world. The Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing and I believe Dondra and got good to the hymn writer because he had to say it again and heaven and nature sing and I believe he began to get a little more happy and he said it a third time and heaven and heaven and nature sing but can i tell you he really got the hymn from the 98th number of psalm because it's in that psalm that jesus christ is talked about is in that psalm where the first mention of the coming of jesus christ but when you really dig and really dig tree. He's not talking about when Jesus came in a manger. He's not talking about how he came and there was no room. But oh, he's really talking about when Jesus comes again. Oh, what a great day when he comes again. They'll be shouting when he comes again. They'll be joy when he comes again. Oh, when the angel begins to shout and Jesus puts one foot on earth, on the cloud, and one foot in heaven, and the dead and Christ begin to rise, and the living in Christ they're caught up together with the dead in Christ over in the clouds that's when you can truly say joy to the world the Lord is come let earth receive her king let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing. I gotta get out of here. But oh, in that great day, in that great coming of the second coming of Christ, I hear another song right now that says, Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, y'all didn't like that. Can I go back to the old church? The old church would remind us by asking the question, do you want to go with me to my father's house? There'll be joy in my father's house. There'll be peace in my father's house. Well, how do you get there? You gotta have the joy of salvation. Anybody? Want to go back to the old church? The old mother would say, I'm going up to yonder to be with my Lord. Oh, what joy when I see his face. What joy when I see a crown that he has in his hands. 
has in his hand for me. What joy when I get to Jesus. I heard you, brother. When I get there, when everybody get there, every knee shout bow, every tongue shout confess that he is Lord. I got to get out of here, but the old church can creep because the old church, if you miss me, singing down here, out in the sunshine, out in the rain, I'll be singing a brand new song, and I love to hear Dondra sing, I love to hear Lisa and Rashada sing, I love to hear Trina and Charmin sing, but oh, when me and the angels get together in our different sections, we're going to say glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. I ain't got a voice like you be. I can't do it like you. But he's been too good to me not to give it a try. I know he's all right. I'm done. I held you too long. I, I wish I had a voice for I wish. I wish I had a voice. Uh, wish I had a. Wish I had a voice. Listen, this is a tough season for some. They're missing loved ones. They're missing material things. But I came to remind you this morning that great joy can be felt in the midst of great pain. The breakthrough of brokenness by the way of joy. Listen, this is a great day. If you have not already done so, to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Our team should have on the screen where you can text Connect GPBC to 84576. Connect GPBC to 84576. We're going to baptize. We got, I believe, six, seven, or eight to baptize. We're going to do it in January. We would love to add you to the list. Maybe you've been baptized. Maybe you've accepted them, but now you simply need a church home. You can do the same. Just text CONNECT GPBC, one word, to 84576. We're grateful for the addition of those that have come and connected in the last few weeks. We're grateful. We're grateful. We're grateful. We're grateful. And we pray that we can add you to that list before 2021 ends. Come now. Come now. Watch Care Christian Experience. This is a global ministry. We just had some joined in Atlanta and Augusta, some in the Carolinas, and others in New Jersey, in New York, Pennsylvania. So this is a global ministry. Wherever you are, you can be an E member and have all the rights of every member. We're waiting on you. We're waiting on you. While we're waiting on you to connect, begin to type in. Begin to type in your prayer request. Type in your prayer request. Type in your prayer request. Your prayer request. Type in your prayer request. Type them in. For the Lord our God. Type them in, type them in. Type them in, type in your prayer request. Type them in now. We're waiting. We're going to pray for you. We're going to pray for you. Come to this virtual altar call. Come to this virtual altar call. Come to this virtual altar call. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. Don't you get ready to pray. I don't know. I I'm supposed to pray the Sunday before Thanksgiving, but the Spirit tells me you need to pray this morning and lead us in virtual altar call. Type it in, type it in. We're going to lift you up. We're going to lift your situation up. We're going to lift it up. The Spirit has placed on me. I'll come back, give the benediction. The Spirit has placed on me that our directors of worship and arts 
She'll lead us in our virtual altar call for a come director's come. Before we ask for anything, oh God, we want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for being with us always. Thank you, Jesus, for being a prayer answering God. Thank you for being a very present help, oh God, in the time of need. God, thank you for joy, oh God. Thank you for unspeakable joy, God. In spite of what our eyes may see, oh God, and our ears may hear, oh God, we thank you for joy, oh God. God, we thank you, God, for being with us always, oh God. We ask now in the name of Jesus that every prayer request be heard, oh God. We ask now in the name of Jesus that you lend your ear, oh God, to your people, oh God, that are crying out today, God, asking God for a mighty move, oh God. God, I'm asking that you do it for them, oh God, like you've done so many times before, oh God. I'm not standing asking you to do something, God, that I don't know that you can do, God, for I know that you are a provider, oh God, for I know that you are a protector, oh God, for I know that you are a healer, oh God, for I know that you are a redeemer, oh God. I know that you are a deliverer, oh God. I know that you can be a father, oh God, for the fatherless today. I know that you can be a mother, oh God, to the motherless today, God. I know you to be a comforter, hallelujah, in the time of sorrow, God. I know you, hallelujah, to be a breakthrough giving God. I know you, oh God, to be a miracle working God. And like you've done so many times before, oh God, rain down on your people today, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Don't let us leave, hallelujah, the same way, oh God. Don't let us experience, God, the same things, oh God. But I ask in the name of Jesus that you give breakthrough, oh God, in the name of Jesus. That you give deliverance, oh God, in the name of Jesus. That you give healing, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, I know you're able, God. I know you're able, God. I know you're able, God. And I call for it, hallelujah. Miracles, oh God, hallelujah. And I call for it, hallelujah. Breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And wonders in the name of Jesus. We count it to be so, oh God. And we ask in the name of Jesus that you touch our pastor, oh God. Hallelujah, touch him now in the name of Jesus. And our first family, oh God. And our members, oh God. And our guests and friends, oh God. We ask now in the name of Jesus for your anointing, oh God. For your spirit, oh God. For more of you, oh God. For more of you, oh God. Hallelujah. God, I ask in the name of Jesus that for every prayer request, oh God, that you turn it into a praise report, God. I ask, oh God, hallelujah, that every prayer request, hallelujah, is transformed, hallelujah, into a praise report, God. We give you glory for the praise reports, oh God. We give you glory for answering prayer, oh God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you praise in advance, oh God. We give you a hallelujah in advance, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for not just hearing our prayer, oh God, but for answering prayer, oh God. We thank you for praise reports, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, every prayer request, God. Turn it around, God, turn it around in the name of Jesus. If you trust him, hallelujah. If you know he's able, type amen, hallelujah. If you trust him, shout amen in the house today. For you are able, God. We ask this prayer, God, with expectancy. Knowing that you're able, God, we give you glory and honor in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name that is above every name, in the name that is bigger than sickness, in the name that's bigger, hallelujah, than financial trouble, in the name that's bigger than addiction today. We lift it up in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and we count it so in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Directors. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. You got joy, unspeakable joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Have and speak.
spread the good news that Jesus has come, Emmanuel has come, salvation has come. We believe the best is yet to come in your life. We believe great things are on the horizon. You can still have joy. I love you. Merry Christmas. God, we thank you. We thank you for your son. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for your blessing. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your anointing. God, we celebrate your son, Jesus the Christ. Even in advance, God, we lift his name up. God, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, may it rest, rule, and abide, God, with these, your people, now, henceforth, and forever. And for all in the name of Jesus, all that got a breakthrough from their brokenness by the way of joy, tight, shouted, amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah.